My name is Barkat Kahirabi and uh, I'm from uh, University of Western Sydney uh, doing my second year in sustainable food and agriculture. And this is the second time I uh, participated in uh, the Crow Fund, which is a good eye opener for me. And, uh, I enjoyed my time and I'm looking forward to the next year. Australia has a really critical role to play uh, in leadership in this space. Um, so we want Australians to be aware that whilst it's pretty easy for them to get food on the table, for many people it's not. As part of our Grow campaign, we actually had a, um, a reduce the waste focus and we really encouraged Australians to rise to the occasion. And uh, as is always the case, it's often very simple things. So um, don't waste food, use last night's leftovers, um, pack it for lunch the next day, don't over shop. Um, use what's in your fridge first before you actually um, go out and buy more food and then let it go to waste. Uh, don't perpetuate this requirement to have food that is aesthetically perfect. Um, for all, all, all the people that have got veggie gardens, you know that the funny gnarled tomatoes are the ones that usually taste the best. Part of the food wastage problem relates to our excessive concern about food safety, shelf life and all that stuff. Yeah. Excessive shelf life. Food is safer than it's ever been. It's a Western preoccupation. I don't think it's that relevant in the developing world. Water safety, yes, but not food safety. Because I know I've been trained subconsciously to walk into a supermarket and look at a selection of fruit. My mind automatically looks for the best one. Mm. How do you think you can shift that attitude of consumers to make them more open to choosing what, what nature has intended? Uh, I don't have any easy answers, but I, I think you could start at primary school level. Really, I think you have to start at the primary school level and say, well, you know, what is safety about? It's about bacteria and E. coli and things like that. It's not about blemishes. There's uh, nothing wrong with a few pseudomonas that make they add to the taste. You eat them in the cheese, anyhow, or penicillin with mold. Uh, so you could start, people need to understand a bit more about what are the things that are dangerous and what are the things that are not dangerous. So that starts at primary school. I think it's good that a number of primary schools are having kids grow stuff now. I, I really support that type of thing where they have vegetable gardens. And they'll find the carrots come out and they don't look perfect, but they're okay to eat. So attitudes to food and food waste have changed enormously in the last 50 years. I think we've got to totally redevelop our culture about food. And I'm really impressed by the two organisations in Australia that collect food, surplus food, from restaurants, from farmers, from uh, suppliers. Oz Harvest and Food Bank Australia, I think, are doing a great job in helping, if you like, to reduce the food waste problem. But we've got, got a long way to go, a long way to go.